room is so quiet, you might think you're in a library. But these offenders are hard at work at Central State Prison, transcribing books and creating tactile illustrations for blind students across the United States. The Georgia Braille Transcribers Program is one of 23 prison Braille programs operating in the U.S. and is the only one in Georgia. Offenders produce a variety of textbooks and learning materials for students in grades K through 12. Braille programs do much more for offenders than keep them occupied. Along with gaining valuable job skills, offenders discover their own capabilities and experience the rewards that come with hard work, all important components of preparing offenders for re-entry. The lives of offenders are forever changed as they learn new skills, give back to society for their crimes, and prepare for successful re-entry with a viable career path. When I heard about Braille, I was like, well, I could gain job skills and maybe help others at the same time. The amazing thing is, I think I received more help than I gave. I wouldn't say it was the reason uh, my life transformed, but it was the major reason that I came in as a deserving convict and left uh, as a contributing, a positive contributing member of society. Braille transcription services are a valuable commodity and the services provided by the Georgia Braille transcribers save millions in taxpayer dollars. The process of producing a Braille book is labor intensive, requiring a tremendous amount of focus and precision. Offenders check and recheck their work for accuracy before it is printed, bound, and shipped to students. There are specialized codes and equipment in Braille requiring advanced training and certifications. Offenders have the opportunity to become certified in these areas. Providing offenders with increased job opportunities and visually impaired students with the tools they need to learn, the Braille program is a partnership that helps both to be successful. For the Georgia Department of Corrections, this is Real Time, Real Life.